All right, something that comes intuitively to me that I've noticed that isn't intuitive in a lot of my clients and people that I work with, audience people, is that I naturally make tiny bets instead of what, which is the opposite of what a lot of people do, which is they make big investments in their business. So I guess I'm naturally, I don't know, it's funny. I, I would say, I want to say I'm risk averse. That's why I don't, uh, I just, I can't get myself, you could say I'm either risk averse or I'm low energy or something because I can't get myself to work really hard on a big thing. And some of you are much more diligent than me. Like you're, you're able and willing to work really hard on this giant thing and then put it out there. Or you could say that you're just perfectionistic. And I'm not. I know I'm so imperfect. And I, I don't have the energy to try to be perfect. You know, and maybe I'm a recovering perfectionist because maybe I used to be. But I just know that if I make a lot of, a lot of many, many, many tiny bets, which is why you notice that I launch a lot of courses. You know, I, I, it's for 15 years now. My average is launching about 10 courses a year. 15 years. Okay. Most people, you know, I think they generally think, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to launch a course and, and they they work for a year on this like really big course. They try, they create this wonderful, amazing website or web page and they line up, you know, a bunch of promotional partners or they create this really complex funnel and then they make this big, big deal and they do this big campaign. And then what happens? Well, most launches don't do as well as we hope. Most launches don't, right? It's like, uh, well, I guess since my background is a bunch of falling stars, <laughs> it's like most meteors, meteorites or whatever, are tiny and don't make much of a difference, right? But sometimes, occasionally, there's this one meteor, hopefully it doesn't destroy the planet, but one meteor that carries some very valuable uh, minerals and, and, you know, and, and other material that, 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 that we find on Earth. And that thing is worth a lot of money or whatever, right? And that's how I think about entrepreneurship. And that's how I, I hope that after this video, you will decide to take on is to make lots and lots of tiny bets instead of making great big energy into one thing that's supposed to work. Well, it's like playing the lottery, right? Would you rather say, okay, I'm going to play the lottery today and I'm going to invest my life savings in buying this one lottery ticket or whatever, you know, today's lottery, I'm going to... I'm going to you know, invest my life savings into buying as many lottery tickets for today's lottery as possible. You're probably going to lose it all. Versus the person, I, I don't believe in play. I don't believe in gambling, by the way. This is not the best example. Um, okay, let me use another example. Planting seeds. That's probably a better example. Instead of um, going out there and spending your life savings on like the best, uh, the seed of the most valuable plant in the world, Right or the I don't know this I mean, the terrible analogy right but it's like okay I'm gonna plant this one seed and this thing better grow I'm gonna I'm gonna nurture it as much as I can I'm gonna hire the best expert to come and make sure this thing grows is that is that smart well it may or may not work even the best experts or is it smarter to plant many seeds you see what I mean you plant many seeds. And notice which one you, you, you water, you water them a little bit. You, 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 have, you have a limited amount of water. You don't put all your water on one seed. You probably drown it. You put a little bit of water on every seed. You, you, you work lightly, spending a little bit of energy on each thing that you've planted. And then notice which ones grew and which ones didn't. And then take the ones that did and nurture them even more or study which seed that was, or what condition did you plant it, and so that you can plant more seeds like that in those conditions. This is how I think about all of business and entrepreneurship. This is how I do my content. This is why I teach you the three stages of content, which if you don't know my three stages of content, you can Google it, three stages of content creation, and Google knows my article and video about that. YouTube, I have YouTube videos about three stages of content. This is why I do that. This is why I teach my 111 formula. It's on YouTube, 111 formula. 
Um, I have an in-depth course about that if you care about that biz plan, my in-depth course on the 111 formula. This is why I teach those things because this is how we can discover what is our calling, right? I always talk about it, you know, the, the intersection between what you love and what the market loves at this time. That intersection is your calling. And the only way you can find the intersection is to try a lot of stuff, right? Try a lot of stuff and then notice which of those things happen to intersect with the market at this time. And then you'll know because people are engaging. People are engaging. Oh my gosh, you put out 100 pieces of content. People really, really, really engage with these 10 pieces of content. The other 90 pieces don't do well. That's normal, right? You put out, like I said, I, I launched 10 courses a year, right? Right? Up to now, next year, I might be a little bit easier on myself, but whatever. I'm still going to launch at least six courses next year. But out of those six I launch, probably one of them will do really, really well and probably pay for the rest of the courses. The other five, you know, maybe, maybe one will do really well and basically pay for the other five courses, the other five experiments. Maybe another two of them will do, maybe another three of them will do okay, and two of them will probably be really poor, poorly, poorly, uh, poorly um, enrolled in. And this is after having a lot of experience, but this is true in business as well. Have you noticed the, the most um, successful business people in the world, they become investors, right? They're venture capitalists or angel investors. What happens? They invest in many companies also. They don't put all their, you know, they're really smart. And even with all their business savvy, they still invest in many companies, not knowing which one is really going to work. They can't predict. Otherwise, if they could predict, they would put all their money in one company. And the, those people who do that usually lose. But the, even the smartest business people in the world, the smartest investors, they invest in many things. Notice which one works. They invest more money in that one, right? So make many tiny bets. Be, be careful. Be really careful when you notice yourself spending a lot of energy and time and effort on one thing, saying, well, I'm not yet ready. I'm going to put more effort before I launch. You are making a mistake probably. Okay. Instead, launch something half-ass, half-ass lightly. Launch many things half-ass lightly, and then notice which of the half-ass things. Oh, this one is is working a little bit. Let's put more more ass <laughs> into it. Sorry, this is, I, I have, I'm I'm terrible. I'm I'm trying out. Let's just like I'm trying many different metaphors and analogies. Which one do you resonate with? You can let me know. Do you resonate with the, with the meteorites falling star one? Do you resonate with the, with the seed planting? Do you resonate with a half-ass idea? Do you resonate with working lightly? Do you resonate with, well, here's another analogy. You, you, you go out and talk to a lot of people. You, 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 well, dating analogy also. You date a lot of people and notice which, which is more compatible and you lean more into that, right? Whatever analogy you want to use, this is how I think successful life works. So just be really careful when you notice of spending a lot of energy into something and instead of planting a lot of seeds. I hope this makes sense. Make many tiny bets instead of one large bet that will probably not work out. So make many tiny bets. Notice what, what works and then bet more like that in the future. I hope this helps. Thanks.